What is that called? Good morning, K1 friends, and welcome to my channel. Just kidding. I'm so excited to be back here and doing writing with you guys. So as you know, our big, big question this week is, why do we see shadows? So, Miss Barrows has been telling you what a shadow is. So if you see here, that's Miss Reyes' shadow. So today, we're going to be writing about shadows. Say shadows. So, what is the first thing we do on our paper? We write our name. But Miss Reyes, that's with a marker. I know, silly Miss Reyes. Remember, the first thing we do is write our name, but with a, good job, with a pencil. You write your name with a pencil. So, remember that the big, big question is, why do we see shadows? So my question for you guys is, where do we see shadows? So, you put your thinking caps on, and you try to think about some things around us where you can see a shadow. Hmm. Oh, I know one. You can see a shadow outside when you are in the sun. You can see it on the sidewalk. So, I'm going to answer our question by drawing a picture. Remember, your question and your picture have to match. So if we're talking about shadows, am I going to draw a picture of a heart? No. Am I going to draw maybe someone outside and they see their shadow? Yeah, because remember, the question and the drawing have to match. So ready? Miss Reyes drew two friends outside playing and here's the sun because that's where they get their shadow from and they see their shadow and there's a tree and the tree also has a shadow and then you can see my shadow right here too did miss reyes draw a picture about something that relates to shadows i did because remember shadows come from a light source and so the light source is the sun and we're outside and we can see our shadows outside. Good job. So I can't wait to see what you guys draw and where shadows come from for you. Get creative, but remember only what? Only shadows. 